Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of Serie A round 16 and this is a weird one because this is the first time this year that I didn't see Milan play live because of the early kickoff we decided to go to Christmas markets and yes sucked a little bit because finally a good performance but hey sometimes you gotta do and take in the Christmas spirit with your family and friends. But it uh, was also a round that could have been pretty decisive in terms of the title race, but I really don't want to bang on this inter Juve drum too much because I've been doing it too much on the previous videos. I actually want to focus on the true sensation at the moment, which is of course none other than Bologna. Uh, Bologna who are now sitting top four. And I think this top four race it's actually relatively tight, uh, as, as we'll see in the standings, because Roma, who were top four, suddenly find themselves in the eighth spot. And that tells you quite a lot what could be in there, although still one would consider Napoli to be the favorites there. Napoli themselves had a decent performance against Cagliari, finally getting a win, but scoring two uh, pretty amazing goals uh, in the process. Could have been, of course, more convincing. And yeah, Lazio could have provided us with a little bit more tension in Serie A. However, as well as the play, they just fell over themselves to gift Inter the points. And so Inter still far ahead. But Bologna is really, for me, the surprise of the season. Thiago Motta is doing an excellent job there. He has built a system, not necessarily no names, but you know, uh, kind of rigid like Xerxes, there are Salamakas in there, there's also Porsche in there. Uh, Bo uh, Bologna still own Marco Anatovic, who is at Inter, but <laughs> that's beside the point because he's, he, he isn't doing anything for either team. Uh, but the way they're playing is quite convincing and quite surprising. And I always like when Bologna is doing well, to be honest, because for me, they are one of the teams that are just not among the usual top seven clubs, but they have the potential to be, and they have also enough history behind them. But let's get into the games. Uh, we'll start Friday evening, Genoa, on their 130th birthday or something like that. They hosted Juve in their pinky new golden kit, which I think looked nice on one side, on the other side a little, a little bit weird. And they are kind of the bogey team for Juve. And Juve though got ahead, uh, played a good first half, Kiesa scoring a pen penalty, creating more chances. And you think, yeah, Juve will not stumble this time around. However, right after that, Goodmanson gets the equalizer. And from that moment on, Juve did not have a good chance to win this game anymore and it ends 1-1 and at this point you really have, have to say points dropped. Lecce get a huge 2-1 win over for all Zinone. Maybe Lecce will have nothing to do with the relegation race uh, this time around um, but you know still we have roughly at the midpoint of the, of, of the season before that we have to uh, still wait for uh, the, how it goes uh, next year. Napoli, Cali, I mean Napoli really Tried, you know, Cagliari, of course, are just defend, 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 defend. Uh, they get and the go ahead, go on 69 through an Ozyman header. I mean, typically Ozyman standing right up in the, in, in the air, but just a few minutes later, Pavoletti gets an equalizer and then Ozyman probably is, uh, delivers the assist of the year with uh, balancing the ball on his knee, I think four times before it falls on the floor and then gets in across. That Quaschelia uh, just yanks in, but he already had missed, misses before this. He also almost missed because it goes from the inside of the post towards the other inside of the post and in. Um, but he really wanted that one. He knew this is Ozyman's assist because this was absolutely uh, amazing the way he. <laughs> bom, 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 and then uh, really great cross to see Quaschelia and Napoli. Get back to winning ways after Mazzari had a really, really rough start to his second stint at Napoli. Torino 1 0 over Empoli. Milan, actually, for once, curiously convincing. I know that Monza had more of the game overall. It was an open game, but Milan scored the goals, and uh, Ryan just gets his second goal for Milan this time. In the, uh, he scores the type of goal that I think he always won when he's good. just plowing through, plowing through. It's a solo. Yes, there was a little bit of a lucky bounce in there as well, but already in the third minute, they are well on the way to winning this game. And then it was a really an open affair that uh, chances on both sides. Uh, Pobega has to come off with, with, with injury. Then uh, Giancarlo uh, Simic comes on. Yes, Simic, the son of former Milan defender Simic. 
And he plays and he even scores his first ever goal, an 18 year old. I think he, he, he was his born in Stuttgart. Uh, assisted by Leao. Uh, brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. This, this is exactly a feel good story. We wanted to have it with the other young guy. But now Simic gets, gets it going. You, you can see from celebration, everyone was happy for him. Then Milan could actually hold a little bit back. Uh, it was also a more complete performance, but now we have Simon Kier. You have two defenders, so you don't have to rely. Uh, you can use Theo Hernandez on the other side. And while Monza tried, there was nothing really convincing in there. Um, and then it was a brilliant attack. Um, pulled forward there, Giroud, perfectly in a one scintillating move. Uh, Lays it off to Okafor, who can put it in the empty net. Unfortunately, Okafor got injured as well, which I didn't like. But, you know, 3-0 win, I will always like that. That that, one, that was almost the biggest win of the season. That was a 4-1 earlier uh, this year. But um, for once, Milan actually fine scoring form. Fiorentina had a little bit of luck because Juric missed a penalty for um, Verona in the third minute. And Beltran then gets the winner. Uh, a match that was weird because Fiorentina played in white and Verona played in the dark jerseys. Yeah, a little bit. Of, but, you know, you want to sell the new jerseys that Fiorentina put out. Um, Fiorentina not having bad jerseys this year overall, but we'll see that in probably a jersey review relatively soon. Udin and um, Sassuolo played a 2 2 draw, which was the most goals uh, in a game this week. We began not a very goal filled. I mean, there was no nil nil, but it was also not very goal filled this weekend, uh, which Serie A at the moment, January, is not, unfortunately. Uh, Bologna then, I mean, Roma, did, this was kind of handy to them because Roma didn't have Lukaku, didn't have Dybala. So you already knew that uh, they will be reeling and that's exactly what happened. Uh, it was a tense game, however, Moro gives Bologna the lead in the first and right after half. It was a weird on, on, on goal where I first thought a Bologna player tapped it tapped in, but you know, it, it was a sharp cross. Christensen with, with Jongo and then Bologna cruising and dominating Roma. I don't think there was much coming from Roma as far as I can remember. Um, I mean, the XG is not great, point for five to point six seven <laughs> if I look at it, but uh, it was convincing and it was a deserved win by Bologna. That much has, has to be said. As I already said in the intro, Inter then go four points clear of Juve thanks to a 2-0 away win. But really, Lazio worked hard, did really, really, really well and probably should have taken uh, the lead. I mean, they didn't create clear chance, 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 but they controlled most of the game. But then Amarosic back pass into Lautaro Martinez out of nowhere. Yes, he wants to play to Provedel, but Lautaro Martinez is hanging there in the offside, potentially even way, way, waiting for him. He runs the goalie and puts it into the net, uh, and that is into for you this year. This is a team that know that can play in many different ways. They can lay back, wait, pounce on a chance, or they can also overwhelm you at home. So um, everything in there. This Inter team looks, unfortunately for me as a Milan fan, rather, rather complete at this moment. And then uh, I think Rovella had a great chance to equalize at the beginning of the, of, of the first half. Again, Lazio really trying ev ev everything and then the first chance of in the second half, Barella, a uh, nice turn, uh, takes it to Tyram. Tyram makes it 2-0. And that was the game and that really took the life out of Lazio. We knew there's nothing that we can do against this Inter, Inter team. And this was then when uh, Lazzari got a little bit, uh, how to say, heat, heated against referee Maresca, which I completely understand because he's just an awful referee, as I could see in Linz just a few days earlier. Um, just said the typical uh, swear word. I don't know whether this this rewards a red card. And then yesterday Atalanta were one 0 down at the half uh, through a Pirola goal uh, against South Antana. Come back big time. Muriel Pasadic, Deketela, and Miranchuk make it a proper result for, for them. And four one Atalanta is also very much in the running for this top four uh, spot. But as as we say, it's relatively relative, relative tight. It's basically Inter, Juve, Milan are, are the kind of the top three that one could say these are almost set in stone and even in this order. And then it's uh, between Bologna, Napoli, Fiorentina, Atalanta, Roma for the final spot with Napoli probably holding the advantage still. But, you know, uh, they need to um, get a little bit better if they were to continue. And on the bottom, we see with Udine, Cagliari, uh, Empoli, yeah, Udine, Cagliari, Empoli, Ellas, Salinana really look to be 
a team that's on its way out of Serie A um, and we see who else if Verona is if it's really a Verona and M I believe have been actually in Serie A quite a few years now whether they will stay in on the weekend Salatana will host Milan so let's see whether the form can conquer can continue because it's always been a dicey ma matchup of course it's just before Christmas we end with a real banger the Derby della Sole Roma against Napoli Inter will host Lecce will get an easy three points and Frosinone against Juve might actually be tighter um, of the other matches I have to say Monza Fiorentina sounds kind of appealing but you know I'll be watching Salentana Milan at the same time but that that one and of course Bologna Atalanta that's also a big one that I almost overlooked Bologna Atalanta that pro is the match because that will have big big top four implications as will Roma Napoli to be honest and before that we also have the Coppa Italia and another great game for Bologna this is probably the, the game that you should watch into Bologna because I think Bologna can get something of into there Napoli host Frosinone We'll see why are these games already played now and then the rest in the new year because uh, the teams that ha that are playing this week and have already played with Lazio and Fiorentina playing the Supercoppa in Saudi Arabia which uses the Spanish format and which I will not mention anymore <laughs> because I don't like this comp competition especially if it's sold to Saudi Arabia. So yeah a little bit of a shorter video but I think that's just all, all, all right. Um, if you want to add anything to the Serie A round, please drop a, a comment below think it was quite an in, 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 interesting round. It was a little bit of a feel-good round for me with Milan getting this big win and Simic scoring as well. So quite happy about that. Although uh, the top of the table is not really feel-good for me in, in the other way. But hey, hey, we'll see. The game still have to be played. In any case, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. We'll see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.